Welcome everyone. In this video I will show you uh, why is it important to uh, add more time after the simulation. First, I set up two time intervals and the reason for that is uh, for the first one I set or I will use um, vehicle input but for the second one I only use zero so after the the first part it won't add any more vehicles um, as I just did so what I did here is is uh, I measured that the, the length is around 800 meters from the vehicle input to the data collection point <laughs> which is in the right side and uh, I go now and uh, set up the actual flows. You see for the first one is 600 vehicles per hour, the second one is zero. Okay, just started. What you will see is, yeah, I just, just restarted so we can actually see the vehicles. So just see the, the second row, which is the third simulation run. As you see, um, it's already the 10th second. We have a few vehicles on the network, but the data collection point shows no vehicles at all. The reason for that is, of course, because the vehicle needs to uh, reach the destination. Try to uh, speed up a little bit so we can see when the black arrives. It's around 50 seconds now, 53. So as you see, for the first vehicle to takes around uh, 50 seconds to arrive. So if the last vehicle around 300 second leaves or enters the network, it takes around 50 or 60 seconds. So just wait for it and 250 seconds so here you are it's almost 300 so the last vehicle should arrive soon and after that one no more yeah and the last one just arrived at the last second so if we if if we would stop this the evaluation right now we would miss at least 10 or 15 vehicles so, as you can see, it's 58, the number of total arriving. It's 60 now, 61, and so on. So the reason is, it is called a cooldown period, so you need to leave a low more time for the evaluation to make sure that the last vehicle arrives to the checkpoint so that HGV and there should be one more and that arrives very soon and it's well over 300 seconds so if in the first place if we would use 300 only then it won't be a right decision to make 